Now, if you've got a diesel engine car that struggles to get going in the morning, uh, specifically in winter, and when it does get going, it runs like a bag of spanners for 10 or 20 seconds uh, and smokes a lot, well then chances are you've got one or more glow plugs failing yet. So let's take a look at how to remove, test and replace these things. Okay, so firstly, why glow plugs in a diesel engine? Well, unlike a petrol engine that relies on a spark plug to ignite the fuel and air mixture in the cylinder, diesels rely solely on compression, or rather the heat generated by that compression. Now, this process works fine when the engine's up to temperature, but when it's cold, you know, specifically first thing in the morning, it needs a little bit of help to run, and that's where the glow plugs come in. Right, so the engine in the pickup has four glow plugs, uh, that's one per cylinder uh, and as it's standard practice to replace the full set that's what I'm going to be doing today uh, now the only thing I've done previous to this is spray them all with a bit of penetrating fluid and that's just to try and make my life as easy as possible let's get to it double check the ignitions off and then the first thing I need to do is undo the power rail and I'm going to use my fancy Jubilee clip driver to get that off Now with the power line disconnected, you should just be able to maneuver it out of the way, like so. And in the case of these glow plugs, I need a deep 12 mil socket to get them out, which I've got in the truck, so I'll just grab that. I've got my deep 12 mil socket, and all I'm going to do now is just see if I can crack these loose. So I'll start at number one and work back to number four. So removing these is very much like removing a spark plug, uh, which is fine if you've removed a spark plug before. If you haven't, well, there's not much help. Okay, now that's the four old glow plugs removed. Now, it is sometimes possible to do a visual check on these to identify which one or ones are faulty, and that's simply by looking at how much soot has accumulated on the tip of the glow plug. Now, the general rule is the sootier it is, the more broken it is, um, but there is a much more accurate way of testing these things, and that's using one of these. Okay, grab your multimeter and set it to the lowest setting on ohms. Now this is basically because if the glow plugs are functioning as they should, you want to see a reading of less than one ohm on the multimeter. Now that's plus or minus a couple of tenths just to account for any resistance in the multimeter itself. Okay, threads to threads as I like to put it. Negative on the threads where it meets the cylinder head and then positive on the threads where you connect your power supply. Make sure you get a good contact and observe. Okay, that glow plug's giving me a resistance of one ohm, so that's fine. Second glow plug testing exactly the same way. Second glow plug not 0.9 ohms, that's fine. Third glow plug, 0.8 ohms, 0.9 ohms. Either way, that's fine. Okay, the final glow plug. Now, I have saved the sootiest for last. 
And to be honest with you, I'm kind of hoping this is busted. Okay, yeah, so check it out. If your multimeter displays this, this is not 1 ohm. This basically means that the reading that you're getting is outside of the range of your current setting. So as I've set it to 200 ohms, I'm pretty confident in saying that is goosed. Okay, so I managed to isolate my faulty glow plug. Uh, and to be honest with you, in this case, a visual check would have been good enough because this thing is the sootiest of the four. And I don't know if the camera's good enough to pick that out, but there's a massive chunk of the ceramic tip that's broken off that. I mean, that's gone through my engine at some point, which is not great, but there's nothing I can do about that now. So, yeah, one bad one, three good ones. But like I said earlier, I'm going to be replacing the full set just because it's standard practice. Now these don't have to be ridiculously tight, just snug. That one was a pain in the ass to get in and guess what? I forgot to turn the camera on. I'm not doing it again. Right, now the last part is getting the power rail back on. Uh, now, I'm dreading this bit. I noticed taking these little uh, little nuts off, it was a pain. And getting them on, it's gonna be even worse. And voila! And then all you've got to do is wait for the following morning to test out your handiwork. Ah, the sweet sound of success!